All right, this coronavirus is really having an impact on all of our lives. I mean, the stock market has been in free fall because of the uncertainty of how many people are going to get sick and what it's doing to all sectors of the economy, especially the travel industry. Cruise ships are empty. Entire nations like Italy are virtually shutting down and flights are being canceled all over the world, as well as major events being canceled, like the South by Southwest Festival in Austin. At public events, I'm now noticing that most people prefer an elbow bump or a wave instead of the customary handshake. Here in our theater, I conduct a meet and greet with our audience after the show, and I'm finding that more of the audience prefers a simple hello rather than shaking hands as well. But I think it's mostly because there are rumors about me. Not that I have coronavirus, but that I have cooties. <laughs> That's painful. Now, the medical advice hasn't been consistent in this. Some say, not to worry, go on with your business. Others say, don't travel at all, just stay home, put a blanket over your head. The one thing agreed upon is to wash your hands a lot. Now, the one sector of our economy that is booming is the sale of hand sanitizers and disinfectant wipes. They're sold out everywhere. I mean, there are even instructions on how to make your own sanitizer by mixing aloe vera gel with rubbing alcohol or with vodka. <laughs> so if you see a bunch of your Baptist friends at the liquor store buying up the booze, I'm sure they're there to get the ingredients for hand sanitizer. But boy, are they licking their fingers a lot when they do it. Look, I don't mean to make light of this. It is a serious issue. One death from it is one too many. But while I will take all the precautions I can, I'm not going to stop living my life out of fear of what might happen. I will. I won't. Now, I will stop eating directly off of buffets with the serving spoon. Um, <laughs> And I won't be drinking out of water bottles that people have left opened and half used in airplane seat back pockets anymore, okay? And the audience said, ugh. <laughs> but I already wash my hands a lot and I usually scrub them like a surgeon, especially after shaking a lot of hands. I try never to touch the bottom of my shoes and I do wipe the surfaces around my tray table and seat on airplanes. And I only sneeze on planes when the guy in front of me puts his seat right back in my face. <laughs> And uh, I try to limit my coughing in the direction of people who talk loudly on their cell phones, on planes, or in restrooms, which I find disgusting. Now, we have to take the coronavirus seriously, but we need to use some common sense and ultimately trust the Lord to protect us when all of our own efforts won't. It's not practical for me to stop flying or traveling. But now that so many in the public are afraid of being on planes because of the virus, I'm flying with fewer people these days. <laughs> so there's actually a silver lining in those clouds. So if I see you in the airport or on the streets, a nice wave, deep bow from the waist, or a tip of the hat will do fine as a greeting to replace the handshake or the kiss on the cheek. And I'm speaking of the cheek on my face, of course. <laughs> <laughs>